I'm Yvonne. Welcome to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. And if you've been on my channel before, thank you so much for coming back. Today, I wanted to talk to you about dupes. But before I get into the dupes, I have to say this channel is fashion focused, but at all price points from high end luxury to you know, your high street brands, all the ones you can think of. I also talk about travel, some beauty, motherhood, just life in general. So if any of that sounds like something you're interested, please, please don't forget to subscribe. The first thing I wanted to talk to you, well, I want to show you, I want to show you uh, several dupes from Amazon. I am not into counterfeit or replicas, but a good dupe, I am for it. I think a good dupe is a great way to even test out an item. If you love the dupe, you love the dupe so much, you'll find that you might even want to buy the real item. The dupe is basically, it basically looks like the designer item, but it does not have the designer's name on it. It does not claim to be the exact item. So we have to get that clear we do not do counterfeits here on this channel i'm not about that i don't support that but a good dupe i am all for it the first dupe that i want to show you i'll show you some that i have the designer item and um the amazon version so you can compare and some i just have the dupe version so these two bags can you tell without looking at the bag that I was holding earlier. Can you tell which one is the dupe? Let me bring it closer. Look at the weaving. Look at the weaving. Okay, so these two bags, this is the dupe. I purposely got this color just because I thought if I'm going to get something else that looks like an item I already have in my closet, I should get a color that I don't have. And at the time, I did not have any colors like this bag-wise. So I went ahead and got this dupe from Amazon. This is the Mini Jody, the Mini Jody dupe. It comes in so many other colors. I think if you're really wanting to be discreet about it being a dupe, I think a color makes a huge difference. Even though the Mini Jody, the original, the the designer item has a similar color to this if you're really wanting to be discreet i would say you should probably do a black color like this but look at this the dupe is really good too i mean it has look it has their signature knot right here and then it has the weaving the weaving which is the signature Bottega weaving. It's not the exact one, but it's pretty close. I think the weaving is called the Intricadio or something like that, <laughs> weaving. And that's the Bottega signature weaving. I had stuffed it just with plastic, but this is the interior of this one. It has a red interior. It has a zipper in there and another pocket on one side. Pockets on one side and zipper on the other side. It is not, I mean, you can see the finishing a little bit. It's not very, it's not well done. There's a little bit of thread in there. But at this price, I got this bag for about, I want to say I got it. Let me check. I had to pull out my tablet here to give me some specific information. So this bag, I got this from Amazon. This bag was about $68. For a dupe, it's it's a pricey dupe, I do have to say. It's a it's an expensive dupe. It was about $68, although they do have promotions at times, and sometimes they'll say, you know, Amazon sometimes will have specials. It's not leather, unlike this one, the original, the designer. The I was just noticing the zippers are very similar. The zipper shape they got the zipper shape very similar. This is the zipper. And this also has the knot. Of course, their signature Bottega weaving. And this is stuffed. Comes with a card. And inside, it's just black fabric. It does not even feel... 
it's probably leather i think it's leather but there's no pockets no zippers unlike the other one that had pockets and zippers so this look at the sizing the size is pretty close when you hold it like this very close so i think that if you were just wanting to go along with if you were just wanting to get a feel for the bag for the jody or you just want the look this is not a bad dupe it's really i could see this in black or a red or another color i would love it a lot more and i i think you can get away with it especially if it's just for the look or you're just you know for pictures someone might think this is the original it's a really good dupe and it's very very soft very soft very light it feels just like this this is actually a little bit heavier which makes sense it's leather so it would be a little bit heavier my first dupe the second dupe i got from amazon it's not the exact item it's not the exact but it's very similar is this let me bring it up close I don't know if you can see the lighting, but this is the Manolo Bl um, Blonik, the Hangisi. And this, I just got this from Amazon. I was looking for something similar I could travel with in a nude or a black, and I found these. These are the mule versions of the Hangisi. And the Hangisi, this, they, they come with a mule, mule version also. And they look very similar. This is such a good dupe. The fabric, they're both like a satin fabric, both satin fabric. I'll bring it closer. They both, the heel height is about the same. And even the pointiness of the shoe is very similar, how pointy it is. And then it comes to this, the jewel part, the amazon version is so sparkly i have worn this gotten lots of compliments so sparkly and so pretty this is the original hangisi really pretty too this one looks more dark like dark metals dark jewels this is more sparkly silver shiny so this also, I would say, is a really good dupe from Amazon. Very comfortable. And the Hangisis for a designer shoe are some of my most comfortable shoes. So either way, can't go wrong. And another dupe I have is a common one, but I had to throw it in here, that most people have is... My Hermes Orans, the sandals. I've yet to wear them. I've had them for several months and I have just not worn them. I plan to take them on a trip and I ended up using another item. In fact, I ended up using this, the Orans, the dupe version I have in white. It just went with the outfits I had in mind. But this is the original. I don't know if you are familiar with it. It's a well-made sandal. I do think that it's not great for wide feet. If you have, it's been in the box for a few months. That's why it's all, it's all wrinkled and squished up. But I think if you have wide feet, this might not be the best um, Hermes sandals for you. I do think they have another, I think it's a cheap, cheaper, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. That, I think it's a better option if you have wider feet. But nonetheless, it's still a well-made sandal. So the number one dupe king of shoes, I don't know if you know this, I'm sure most people know by now, it's Steve Madden. He does some of the best dupes. I swear he just waits for the designer items to come out and then he just says, I'll dupe it and it'll look even better. So this is the Steve Madden, this, is the Steve Madden next to the Hermes Orans. If you can see it very well, I'll try to bring it closer. This, how it looks, the back. I do think it's such a good dupe. This was also, although it's Steve Madden, it's from Amazon, you can get it from Amazon. And they both, it's just, it's so similar. The 
Hermes pair, the orange, they seem a little more narrow right here, a little more narrow and they, they're not as wide, while the Steve Madden versions are a little bit wider. Also, the what I've noticed with the orange is the stitching, the color of the stitching for most of the ones I've seen tends to be a different color. It does not necessarily, so if it's a brown sandal, they don't use necessarily a brown stitching. So you can see the stitching sticks out a little bit more while the Steve Madden version, if it's a white sandal, they'll use the white stitching. I actually like that look too. And I, I like the how much wider it is. It would probably fit my white feet, feet better. But, and this is not leather and this is leather. Both great pairs. These run for about $760 currently. They've gone up in price. And these, you can get them for a variety, a range, but they're roughly around $60. You can get them on Amazon or Steve Madden website and other websites retailers carry them. So I do think that if you're just looking for the look, honestly, I would dupe, I would dupe this. And another dupe that I have, this bag is not trending as much, but it's a great bag to have. This is the original. The designer is from Cult Gaia. From Cult Gaia. This is the original beautiful clutch. It, it's called the Jaya clutch. Jaya Pearl Embossed Clutch. Beautiful. Look at it. I got it in this black color. And when you open it up, it has... Let me open it up for you. I haven't... So you just... Right here, and you just kind of push it up, and it opens up. Not much in there. Really nothing. It's not so heavy, but it definitely has some weight to it. Beautiful clutch. And it comes in this beautiful packaging too. And this is, I wanted a white version of this to go with certain outfits. I was going on vacation and I got this and I really like it. It's very similar. It feels about the same weight wise. And this was also described as just the pearl acrylic clutch this was described as acrylic on amazon and this is how this one opens very similar to the other one just push it down and it opens let me get the <laughs> piece of tissue that i had in there it comes with a chain i have yet to even put it you can see where the chain would go so it becomes a shoulder bag i have not used it yet I've not used the chain, but I've used the clutch. And this one has the clear fabric right here. As you can see, it helps so you're not dropping anything or nothing comes out. But there's nothing in there. And I've had it for a few months now. I get lots of compliments whenever I hold it. In fact, someone saw it in one of the videos and asked me about it, thinking it was the Cult Gaia one. And I said, no, that's the Amazon. So this, let me hold it next to each other both of them so this is the cold gaia versus the amazon and amazon also has similar this shape other sellers have similar just like this but in this shape in this color so you can get very similar i think i really do think of course if i'm this will probably last longer i don't know i have i've had it for about a year and it looks good still, but this I've also had for almost a year and it still looks good. I would say that it's really your pockets. If you can afford this and this both, go, go for it. If you prefer the original, of course. If not, this works fine. The dupe is just fine. Another dupe I have for you today is... I don't know, these shoes were trending 
months ago everyone you would see in different colors this is the cider from jimmy choo the dupe this is the amazon version so good so good i don't have let me show you what i have i have a jimmy choo version of the cider i've yet to wear it but i will show you it is so similar the chain is so similar they did such a good job <laughs> this is the chain for the jimmy choo and this is the chain for the amazon version very similar i can already tell that the amazon chain is a little bit longer but it feels so similar although i don't have the exact pair of this Sidas. I've seen this version online, the Sidas online, and they look just like this. I'll put a photo up so you can see. They have the satin version. They have the suede. If you're wanting the suede, this is more of the suede fabric. They have the suede version, but they have the satin version. I really think if you wear the satin version of the shoe, someone might, you, I would highly doubt they might think this is an Amazon dupe. It looks so much like the Jimmy Choo Saida shoes. It's such a good dupe. So talking about this Jimmy Choo dupe, it is spot on. This is, I mean, this is a shoe that I have considered buying so many times. I see it on sale. I just never found the size that I wanted. I'm telling you, after seeing the dupe, the dupe is so good. I don't think I would want to buy this exact same shoe maybe another style or another fabric but the satin one is dead on i mean this it even has the detail right here the the chain is so similar to the original the real jimmy choo the chain right here is the exact the sizes of the crystals it's the mat the matching size it looks the same it feels almost the same i'm sure the quality is better for this one but it, the, the way it feels, it feels almost the same. This is a bit heavier, the Jimmy Choo, but this is a shoe that I would say dupe it. Unless if you prefer to get the original, dupe this one. Another shoe that I have considered getting also, I just can never find it. I have big feet. So for designer shoes, especially when they're this pointy, I have to have at least a 42 or higher. And I've had a hard time finding it, but I think I'm going to go the dupe route. It is so good. So this is the V logo, the Valentino V logo heel. Look at it. The way they place the V, I have seen the shoe. I've tried the shoe one in Vegas and it looks so similar. I can, if someone was wearing this and they told me it was Valentino, I have no reason to not think that it's not. One thing that helps it, I think the, the fact that it's patent, it's a patent leather look, it helps it. So it just makes it look like the original shoe. It's such a good dupe, guys. The three, this is about three and a half inches, which I think is a really good length for a heel. Really good. And then the, the original, everything. I'll put it up so you can see. You can look at it while looking at this. It looks the same, guys. And this, the original shoe, let me tell you how much the original is. The original, the Valentino, is $11.50. And these are about $64 from Amazon. $64 is still, it's not inexpensive, for an amazon dupe but i would like to believe that tells you that it's not bad quality it's such a good dupe if someone wore this and they did not tell me that this was a dupe i would believe that this was an Am um this was a designer valentino pair of heels i've been wanting this but because i have huge feet i have to do at least a 42 or higher especially when it's a pointy toe and I've had a hard time finding one, especially when it has some type of a promotion because I always try to wait till there's a little bit of a promotion and I have not found it. But after seeing this, guys, I would say dupe it. I think that what helps is the patent leather 
let me bring it closely the way i don't know if the light is catching it like reflecting not in a good way but you have to see it in person the way they put the v it's exactly how the designer pair is the valentino pair it looks the same i've tried this on in las vegas i tr i saw the the shoes they were a little bit small for me when i tried on the pair i think it was a 41 or so but it looks the look of it the patent leather the sling back look of it the heel length about three and a half inches which is a great heel length it's you can still walk comfortably i would say this is a pair of shoes to definitely do such good quality it looks good i don't know how it's going to hold up but look wise it passes the dupe test <laughs> another item that i have for you that i when i saw this i'll insert a video or a picture of me trying this bag on i've tried this bag on a few times i've tried it on i tried it on last a few months ago when i was in london and i absolutely love it this is the loewe the puzzle puzzle bag i tried this bag on i can take this off because i will be keeping this I, a lot, I bought a lot of these dupe bags just and shoes and everything just to see if I like it. If it's a good one, I'll keep it. If it's not, I'm sending it back. This one I'm definitely keeping. I've tried on this bag a few times and this dupe is <laughs> spot on. It looks so good. Even the color, Loewe has this, the puzzle comes in this color also. Look at the details. The bag is so well done. And it did this one when I ordered it. It took several weeks to get here. It's definitely not something that's rushed, sent out. It has the, what I call feet and the bottom, which is always a good thing. Just when you sit, st stand in it or, you know, putting it somewhere so it doesn't get affected. It feels like leather. Now I look this up it's not leather but it feels so good feels just like leather this comes with the bag zi zipper right here and it opens like so this bag the original the loewe puzzle opens like this it opens like this it's a bit finicky to get in in there this has it's been stuffed let me pull the stuffing out <laughs> so you can really see how this bag looks. This is one of the best dupes that I have seen. They did such a good job. Even the interior coloring in one of the Loewe puzzle bags that I, I've tried on, the color interior was similar. The fabric was very similar if you've seen it. This one has a zipper inside and it comes with a strap that you can use shoulder or cross body. I'm not even going to try to open this because it's well wrapped in here. But the original, the Loewe puzzle also has a strap and this bag is so well done. It's one of the best dupes that I've seen. The Loewe puzzle, you can easily kind of like give it that shape, squish it down here. This doesn't squish as much, but that could be, I mean, some people might like that. It's very structured, a very structured bag. It's a great dupe. It's one of the best dupes that I've seen. I saw someone unbox this dupe like months ago and I thought that is not a dupe. I could not believe it. And when I ordered from the same seller, it took forever to get here, but it got here and it's worth it. Even the stitching, the details, if you look, it's such a well <laughs> I don't know how these companies, how these designers are doing with these people you know copying their design so well i've actually heard that this bag may might be discontinued so if it's getting discontinued if you want to get the original just to have in your collection because it's a great bag to have to your collection um get it it's great it will be it will be discontinued from what i've been told if i'm not mistaken but you can also find it a lot on the pre-loved market fashion file real real they all have this bag 
although the site the pricing is not that much less from the original so if you're able to buy it great if not go the dupe route this is a bag i've struggled i've just i've kind of struggled i've wanted it but at the same time i'm like mm, i don't know if in five years time if it's just going to be a bag that was trendy is it worth me spending almost three thousand dollars this bag is almost three thousand dollars you can get depending on the size three thousand two thousand and something is it worth me getting it for that price when i don't know if it's just going to be a trendy bag in a few years and i'm not even gonna reach for it but great bag this was about 60 i want to say 60 something dollars on amazon still not an inexpensive dupe for amazon but the quality is there this i would say dupe this one another item that i recently added to my wardrobe are the blaze sunglasses from saint laurent i love these glasses i feel like you either love them or you hate them it's just they're big they're the shape you know covers everything <laughs> so if you like that then these glasses are for you they're called the blaze from saint laurent the original, these glasses are 960, approximately 960. Very expensive pair of glasses. But they're a statement pair. I do have to say that you can find these glasses on other websites, like retailers. My, I think my Teresa might have them. Cetire, C-E-T-T-I-R-E. -T -T -E. I'm almost positive I've seen them on that site. A bunch of other luxury retailers they carry them and they'll have them on promotions a little bit less you see them for 500 and something 600 and something i might have even seen them as low as almost 400 and something so if you really want them i would say check the other sites first before going unless if you don't mind spending this amount of money but i've been looking for a dupe you know just for the look of if you want a similar look so these are the glasses these are the designer Saint Laurent glasses <laughs> what do you think I personally really like these glasses I don't know um, like they're a statement pair not for everyone but they're great one thing that's great about them is the size they block everything your peripheral from the front from the side everything is covered so I really like that and then the closest thing I found to a dupe, let me try this on for you so you can see. What do you think? I really like these two. I think the shape, it has a very similar shape. It has that square type of look to it. The similar square look, the dark frames, it covers on the sides. If, if you wear it like this, your hair is down. You cannot see. Some people might not even like this because of the logos if you want more of a subtle look. But with these, the difference, the key is there are no logos on the sides. But I really do feel like it has a very similar look. And these are $20, $19.99. And if I'm not mistaken, they were even on a promotion recently for about 20% off. So just to get the look from a distance <laughs> i think it's a very similar dupe it's compared to 900 and something dollars 960 dollars dupe it great dupe so here they are i think they're very similar the shape the style the sides without the logo another dupe that i got for you because i decided to try on several different dupes i've never really done i don't really do dupes very much but i i'm like you know what i'm going to check if it's a great dupe i'm getting it and i'm all for it so which one do you think is the dupe which one do you think is the real dior lady dior okay so let me tell you, <laughs> um, this to me, I would think that maybe this might not even be the original, but this is a vintage Lady Dior. I have been wanting a newer, a fabric like this, more of a satiny, not satin, more of a patent look. I've been wanting one like this, but I am waiting till we travel to Europe. I think we'll be going in a few months and I want, I would love to buy it at the Dior store in Paris. So that's what I'm waiting for. But in the meantime, I have the vintage one from Fashion File. I've had this for a few years now. It's held up nicely. 
it's a great bag i i feels my lady dior want in my closet i stuff it i keep it stuffed at all times just to keep the shape but yes, this was, I mentioned from Fashion File, this was the medium Lady Dior. And I was looking to see if there's a price there. This was definitely under $1,000. This is how the interior looks like. Still in good condition, the interior. It has a zipper right there and nothing else. So it's a medium, it's a vintage style. This was a little bit under $1,000, but the new Lady Dior, something like this, will cost you about $4,400. They are not, it's not an inexpensive bag. It's a very expensive bag, but one of the, it's just such a classy and a classic bag that will stand the test of time, beautiful bags. But this is the Amazon one. Guys, look at this. Let me move this. Look, I just thought it was such good quality. And the Lady Dior comes in a pink color too. So look at it. Look at the details. This is called, I think it's called the Canage Stitching. Or the, yes, I want to say the Canage Stitching. Let me look that up just to be... Yes, this is, so this is the signature cannage stitching. These bags go for about 44, if not 4,900, somewhere around there at the Dior store. So cute. And the, the original is usually in lambskin. But look at the stitching. They did such a good job. Look, look at the stitching. Let me show you so you can see the lighting. Such a good job. And then the gold, I, at first I was thinking not to keep this bag, but it is so cute. And let me open it for you. It closes exactly like the Lady Dior, like opens up and closes. It has that snap closure right there. And then it comes with a strap. They've just stuffed it in there. This one does not have, let's see if it has a zipper. It's in such good condition, guys. It's such a good dupe. If someone was holding this, I, I feel like with color dupes, sometimes they, the colors, if the color is not spot on, it's easier to kind of tell that that's a dupe if the brand does not have that exact same color. But if the brand, if it's like a black one, like a black patent or something, they have a pink. I have to make sure that the pink is the exact same pink. It's similar, but I would have to double check. But the black, if this was in a black patent or a nude, there's you cannot tell me if someone was holding this that I would... This, the gold is a bit very yellow. It's a very bright, the Lady Dior, what I've seen in person, I did try it on also a few months ago in Miami. In person, the I don't remember the gold being this yellow or this bright yellow, but besides that, the gold accents, it it is so cute. Like the handles, so very cute it's just the details of the stitching not one stitch is out of place nothing no threads hanging and then you open it up so cute inside it does it just has it does not have a zipper but it does have it does not have a zipper but it does have a pocket right there and it just snaps to close also it's this one get it it's a great dupe if you don't want to spend 4900 44 to 4900 get this dupe this one was priced at let's see my tablet keeps shutting off on me <laughs> this one was priced at about 32.99 if i'm not mistaken I might think that this is a Gucci bag. This Gucci bamboo bag, it's so good. Look at it while I turn on this tablet. 
to tell you the exact price. I was in Vegas recently and I will insert a picture of this bag. I stopped by and looked at this bag. Such a great bag. This bag is the green bamboo handle Gucci bag and it runs for the price is around $4,500. If you buy this bag from Gucci store, it's about $4,500, $4,500. That's a lot. And this, I bought this from Amazon for about $28.99. Great dupe. One more time, I've talked about color. If you're wanting to do a good dupe, look at the color of the bag. This bag, um, the website the, on Amazon, I think it had in a pink and this color. This green is the exact green that Gucci has. The green matches the exact green, which is great because then... You know, it's easy to look like the original bag, the designer bag. And then the bamboo handles, great. They are in great condition. It's a great quality. It looks, it just, nothing is out of, no stitches just hanging, not well done. The bamboo is well laid right here. Then the bamboo closure, bamboo look closure, It it's just like the original, the Gucci opens up really easily no fussiness there and then this also this is the interior the interior it just has one pocket right here really great dupe it also comes with a strap and it closes so nicely the leather feels soft just like the leather that I um at the Gucci store when I tried this on it feels really just feels great but this is not leather and of course the Gucci bag is real leather this I think it's a PU leather definitely not leather but the quality this is another bag I'll bring it closer another dupe I would say dupe it dupe it if you you just unless if you're a diehard gucci fan and you really just love these bags and of course the quality is not going to be the same but if you just want the look of it you just want it you know the look of it or the feel just to see if you like it sometimes dupes are great because once you have them you really see if you reach for the bag a lot if you absolutely love the bag then by no means it does not compare to get the designer bag because the quality is different and i mean you have that for the rest of your life these I, we don't know how long they'll last but if it's just a look or just the style or just to fill a void this is a great dupe i would keep this too another lit, little dupe that i have i told you all i got a lot of dupes <laughs> to see this is the valentino also the v logo earrings this the only thing that i've seen these earrings online quite a bit i've even considered buying them at one point but i just i, I don't know something about it just did not make me pull the trigger like to buy the 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 earrings so i don't know sizing wise i would have to see if this size is the same as the the valentino pair but looks wise it looks so good this there's I don't know why I would want to buy this earring in the, the Valentino V earrings. I don't know why I would want to buy these earrings if the sizing is really about the same and the design, the V, is the same. The gold color ring is the same. Those designer earrings, a lot of them are just, they're not real most of them some of them are not like real gold or they're just i forget the word that they call them um i forget i forget, I forget the word but yes they're just basically it's expensive metal you're just paying for the brand you know so a lot of times these dupes will work just fine and this is a great pair this valentino the v and these were under twenty dollars under twenty dollars for this um, I would say dupe it. Speaking of earrings dupe that I'm wearing a pair of the Bottega dupe, the drop, I think it's a teardrop. Is it a teardrop? The Bottega dupe that were very popular and still are. 
these earrings i got from amazon also a few months ago i wear them all the time i got i like them so much i didn't just get the gold i even got them in silver in silver here they are i have this this size and then i have the larger size and they have done just fine they are not very heavy but not flimsy they work just fine i get compliments on them so i would also say the bottega drop these earrings are definitely i i there's no way i would even if i don't know even if i was a multi multi i don't know why i would want to go out and buy the real bottega earrings that look exactly like this maybe just has the designer's name on it no one can tell from a distance so why am i wasting my money on buying spending hundreds of dollars to buy something that you can't even tell the difference they look the same they look the same i love them and i think i will be keeping these also and to me they serve the purpose they're simple they're pretty pretty v earrings the original these v earrings are about they these are about well, the Amazon ones are $19.99, but the Valentino pair is $490. Guys, that's let's just round it up with taxes and everything. That's $500. $500 for something that looks so similar to this. Yeah, no. I will stick to the $20 pair. This and the $20 pair, what it said was it's 18 karat gold made and made of some 18 karat gold material and it also said it's nickel free cadmium free and lead free for people who are very sensitive i'm not with my ears but like my one of my daughters she 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 has to wear almost everything free with her earrings these are great if you have sensitive skin sensitive ears these are also good so the dupe is not a bad option because you know it also helps for allergies if you have um your very sensitive skin so i will be keeping these love that another dupe that i have for you i'm coming close this bag this is the gucci this is the amazon version but it's a take on the gucci diagnosis I think that's how you pronounce it the diagnosis bag this is it came in different colors on amazon i've also seen this bag in person and this is such a good dupe just the look of it look at it from here look look it also has the texture the textured leather and the gucci version also has the textured leather just like so and it has the the look of the tiger i think it's a tiger head from my understanding it's from the greek god dionysus something like that that gucci um does this bag the design right here it's very similar it looks a little different i'll bring it up close from the original gucci dionysus bag but you cannot tell you have to look at it like this it's so similar the way the coloring the way it lays just the look of it and the chain so this chain is a little bit more flimsy to me but it's not horrible you can you can hear it, it doesn't sound like horrible it's not horrible it's just not a you know heavier chain heavier quality chain but look it serves the purpose it's such a good dupe i think as it just opens up the interior feels like the interior does feel like it has some type of almost like waterproof like something could slip right off of it and it has a pocket right here zipper middle zipper and no so just one pocket and a middle zipper compartment and i don't think i don't know if the original has this i have not paid attention to that but this does have this little insert 
which is not a bad option for your keys or something. And this is how, it's like, this is a, sh a good shoulder bag. Let's see how it closes very easily. So this is a really good dupe. It also can make, be made longer. There it is. This is the back, the sides. So this is the Dionysus, like I mentioned, and I also saw this. I've seen this in person. That dupe is so good. And I want to show you, I want to tell you how much this is. So this, the original, the small Gucci, this, the small Gucci version of it runs about 3,400. You can find it on pre-loved sites. You can find it with other retailers that carry it like satir.com. Um, yes, it runs around $3,400. And this bag, I got this for under $100. I thought I had the price here. I can't find it, but it was under 100 I know that from Amazon. And it's a really good dupe. And I would keep that one. And another dupe I have came in a huge, came in a huge box. And a huge bag this was one of the pricier bags that i got this is it looks so good i had to open it up to take a peek this is the bottega andiamo it is trending right now this bag is just every i mean even how it came wrapped up it looks so good it feels so soft let me bring it up closely it has that signature bottega look with the stitching i think it's called the intricado stitching it's a signature bottega stitching and this has it it looks so good the bag it doesn't just look it feels so soft and supple it's a great quality bag i would say that this bag let me pull this middle let me pull this middle part so we can see how the how the gold piece lays because the Bottega, the Andiamo bag, which this, if I have not mentioned, this is the Andiamo of a version, the Amazon version of the Andiamo bag. This it's supposed to have the a gold logo. Great quality bag. I absolutely absolutely love this bag it's one of the best dupes that i've seen just the quality wise it has it has this longer strap and the andiamo also has a longer strap like so i've tried to pull this off but it was i have to cut it with a scissors i don't have one so i'm just going to push it to the side so you can see it has the knotted detail right here it's supposed to be like a gold nut right here and the gold, the knotted detail is so well, beautiful, beautifully done. The gold also does not look in your face too, too much in your face. Like I thought the Dior bag I showed you earlier, the pink one, the gold for me would be something that I would say gives it off as a dupe. The gold, that gold was just too yellow, too shiny to me, a little bit inexpensive looking. While this, on the other hand, it's just such a well, it's not so too much in your face, not so loud. And the handle, the straps, beautiful, well done. I don't see the, I mean, the weaving, you have got to give respect to the people who did this. <laughs> and it came stuffed. It has a middle, just like so. It has a middle divider here. And... The middle divider compartment has a zipper right there. And that's really it. And it does have this closure, almost like a snap right here. And it closes. It's it's a beautiful bag. This is something that I will definitely be keeping. It's not inexpensive for a dupe. 
this was a hundred dollars was 99 dollars for a dupe and it did not come immediately it did not come overnight it, it came after a little while maybe a week or two so it was not rush delivered it's just a well-made bag i would say it's a great dupe this bag was 99 dollars, but the andiamo from the medium one i want to say runs around five thousand dollars like 40 something to five thousand dollars depending on the site that you get it five thousand dollars for a hundred dollars quite a difference to get the look if you just love the look of that andiamo bottega bag this is a great dupe i cannot recommend it enough it's so well made it's such a well-made bag so those are some dupes i have for you today i hope you've enjoyed the video i will be keeping some items i don't know there are a few that i might not keep i'm not sure yet or i might just give away but there there's definitely been some great dupes here that have changed my mind with dupes those earrings there's so many and um anyway i hope you enjoyed the video if you enjoyed the video please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe thank you so much for watching bye